All right, welcome back to another league race, another season of FTRL. We are kicking off with Zandvoorsh, a repeat track from last season. Right. But nevertheless, we are right. back here. Dry quality, dry hey. race. So a right. couple of things have changed for this season. I am in the Renault and my teammate is not here. <laughs> so that's fun. But I uh, struggled heading into this because Zandvoort's a track where I like the flow of it, but it's kind of not, doesn't agree with me <laughs> for pace. So I tried this setup um, earlier on race day, which was Tuesday, and found myself a good chunk of time, both in quality trim and the race. Now, the quality trim was still quite slow, but the race pace wasn't too bad. So we're going to roll with this and then see how we get on. I want to wait. We'll wait I want to see, because so. oh, ideally okay. I'd like to start outside the top 10 and go, I said, mediums, and then oranges, go yeah. from medium to hards then rather than softs. Although, I must It'll be honest, I forgot that now, last so time I did this, I actually hated it. the medium yeah. tire. So I and I criticize it is. quite a bit. Anyways, uh, we're going to go for a flying yeah. lap. Yeah. Here is always that was the most sexiest helmet you've ever seen for that car. Please don't come, don't come all gushing in at once. It's okay. Control yourselves. Feast your eyes. Take five minutes. Do what you need to do. Come back, and we're going to finish this qualifying lap. So, cross the line. This is my banker. You just had your wanker of this helmet, but I just this is my banker. Nine point four for that lap. So not a bad banker, to be fair. Anyways, uh, end of the session. Uh, I botched the first run. This is actually a, another run. I want to keep a spare set of fresh softs for the race, just in case something happened. Um, first run wasn't great, so I yeah. went to low fuel, and then honest. I decided to Sorry, back out of that because turn one and two was a disaster. So I went for another lap, and then that was the end result there. So it's 13th place. My banker ended up being my quickest time in the end. I only did two runs, that run and then my final run. So um, just in front of my teammate for the night, uh, Tom. So there's your grid. You know, a second behind Scuba, who did an 8.4, so that's always good to have. It is, it is okay. uh, medium tyres, starting on those, and then go to the hards, and then we'll go from there. And putting in four laps of fuel, because I I use Rich quite a bit here. I actually, one thing about my qualifying lap, I actually put that last one down to three, eight wings. Retrospect, I should have left that, left that four. If there is an and I use five for the race. Car, so then I'm going for the, here we go. Then the mediums to hards, four apps of fuel, lots of rich to be used. ERS is tough to recover around here as well. But here we go. Then five red lights, and away we go. This track is not particularly kind for side by side racing. So let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to get by Pagani here. There's a Renault has an absolutely flying start. My teammate for the night, line to the outside emerges. So there, Adam and uh, that's Ross in front of Megatron Le Chat. So. Oh god. I see I need to go on the outside here. I go too wide and my teammate sneaks through and he's gonna actually take that place. He actually gets on the grass then, so uh, momentum take me alongside, but whew, that could have been, that was bad. That could have been very, very bad. So we're gonna stay in P thirteen. The difference is we lost the team position to our teammate. Um we've jumped Pagani then. So I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, Adam here is on hard, so it's a long stint, so ideally don't want to be stuck behind him and while others in front of him potentially pull away. But he's side by side with my teammate and he, my teammate gets through. So I knew that the Hards will have struggling, will have struggles warming up. A bit wheel, almost wheel banging there. So run off of these first few laps, off of these last two corners are going to be really important. So here we go. Down to fourth. Try and pick up the throttle as quickly as you can. Good run. Rich ERS going to use that immediately. I know it's tough to overtake to recover ERS, but need to use this as quickly as I can and try and use as little as I can too. I have the inside line, which is important. It's going to go down through it. Um, see, I'm actually nearly a full lock. Well, not full lock, but just over half lock. And the car wasn't really steering much. There's a little bit of contact we got through. So that was big to get through there. Uh, lap three. Uh, I think Chubbs retired behind and the safety car is out. See, I've already used half a lap of fuel here in the little opening two Ooh. and a bit laps so uh good chance to lean uh, get into lean and I save some fuel um people come into the pits then so most people were pacing their softs some people like sway decide to stay out so basically you'd have to convert to a two-stop basically or hope your hires yeah. go to the end so this moves us up moves us up quite nicely into p7 uh oh, wow. tires are cold on the restapper we're going to try our best have to be really careful Get a decent run on the start. I, I lost a bit of time, to be fair, but 
I was more looking behind me than in front. You see, the understeer just takes me through. I uh, lost a good bit of ground there, but this, these first few laps on the safety car race there weren't great. Uh, and I dropped out of DRS quite quickly. So uh, you can see Aaron, you can see Sway in front, and then there's my teammate. So at this stage, I'm thinking about my teammate, like on what lap he's going to pit. Um, still hoping to do on to get onto the hearts, but the longer the stint went on, the more I thought maybe we could stretch the stint. You see there, 1.4 behind Tom, 1.1 ahead of Adam. So that's where we stand uh, on lap 8. So very much playing this all by ear. I hadn't decided on anything quite yet. Lap 11, we've actually caught to the back of DRS of Tom. And Adam's actually caught to the DRS of me as well. Again, banking. I have a good chance to maybe overtake my teammate. See what the DRS and I don't want to use too much ERS though at the same time. So I've still got three laps of fuel. But again, just not close enough to again make any sort of move. And the way this turn sweeps in, not going to be able to happen here. Lap 13. Again, the key here is the exit off of this corner. Get a good exit. And then here, downshift, get a good run in on the throttle as soon as you can. A bit of ERS to launch you off then. And Rich, of course. And you're basically safe as long as the car behind isn't pushing. This is the moment where I thought, maybe we could extend. My engine's actually quite warm because I'm using a lot of rich, I'm using, trying to use a lot of straight line speed as much as I can. This is the mo that was the moment there where I thought, maybe I could perhaps, uh, you know, go for it. Go for this, go for this stop, go for this longer stint and go onto the softs. Adam got close here, but my run off of that corner was good enough where he couldn't make that, uh, make that happen. So now, I'm now in the lead of this race, having yet to pitch. Now it's on me. I've got all sorts of cars behind me. Adam, Posh, Tico, Scuba. Again, the launch off of this corner. Rich, early in the throttle as soon as he can. Right-hander, fully on the throttle as soon as he can. Overtake off the top. Again, back into Rich. And boom. I am able to stay in front here at this stage. Again, I can get off. You overtake, I can get off of Rich. Save some of my engine. Save some of my fuel and DRS. So that was the way. That was the order of the day. Again, look, he's in DRS here. Very, very close. Actually decides to try and go for the move. But it's suicide heading into here. With that curb. With the way it is. If that curb wasn't there, perhaps. But again, decently quick onto that uh, onto that uh, accelerator. But actually, this is the one lap where it wouldn't have been enough. But I actually decided I was pitching this lap. So I actually didn't care that I didn't get the best run. Tires are pretty dead. 72%, 74% as we head into the pits then. Adam then, who did his stint on hards, is uh, following me in as well. He goes into mediums, I go on to softs. So I've had the faster tyre for both of these stints, although he would have had the faster tyre there at the end of that stint with the hard. You come out just behind uh, Panda, and my teammate is about three odd seconds up the road. So very much the plan switched. This wasn't planned. I switched into this during the race. So showing that classy adaptability, you know. Um, as for holding off the pressure again you know not everyone can do that so but I, I've been around long enough so it does it, it was able, I was able to use knowledge and the such to you know to my to my advantage on that one but here we go then Tom DRS overtake I knew I had to get this one done for sure boom down the inside he kind of let it happen to be fair as well so thank you for not fighting that too much now came a critical point because I was like I need him to stay in front of Adam here to try so I can try and pull away, run away, try and pull out of DRS. And I did do that. And then as Adam and Tom go wheel to wheel here, I'm not sure what happened, but Adam loses it. And boom, we got a nice one and a half second buffer that. to our teammate for the night. And I'm hoping he can keep City Posh behind him as long as possible because City Posh did pit in the queue behind me before I pitted. He was part of that queue behind. So uh, lap 31 though. For now, we're defending this, but look at this fuel. Like I, I didn't mention it, but I had like four laps of fuel after the safety car ended. So I'm running on fumes at this stage, and the ERS I'm running on fumes as well. I used much of my much of my spares when Tom oh, when I got past Tom. Lap 32, hang on to lap 33. I got nothing left. So Posh is going to have me here. These softs are going off. Uh, quickly made sure to check the penalty situation. So I know Posh has got nothing. This isn't a track for many pens, so immediately checking for Ross behind, see if he's got pens, so I know what my story is heading into these last three laps. He's only 1.3 behind, so the likelihood he's going to get DRS is strong as my tyres go off, but he has got a three-second penalty, so I knew that if he did come, excuse me, if he did uh, come 
towards my rear wing that I'd be safe. Again, off this corner, rich and overtake. Get a good run. Again, you're just putting that distance before the most important part. Again, off of this corner again, rich overtake, just for a little bit, and then off of them again. Um, I, decided I, I decided to actually commit to the, the rest of my ERS because like, it's the last lap of the race. So just with everything that I had, have enough fuel. Again, I've, before Posh overtook me, I was running lean through some corners as well to try and save some fuel so I could run rich down a straight and you know continue to run rich down any straight I needed to. So again, lean here. Again, we're going to stick with this last lap. Uh, Posh has run away again. I can't really do anything about it. Uh, but I knew, I knew I didn't have to fight Ross, but I wanted to stay in front if I could, you know, because, you know... Why wouldn't you? I don't want to wave anyone by. No, no, no freebies. No, no free gifts. Got to earn it. Within reason. <laughs> because see, the tires are pretty bad. So, I don't regret going out to softs. Not at all. Um, no, not at all. I'm not, I don't regret the strategy at all. But again, just want to get a decent run. This is an underrated part, perhaps, where you could surprise someone with ERS and overtake. But I just want to use a bit of rich. Scuba has won this race. Um, by a convincing margin in the end, so fair play to him. Uh, racing points, double podium, so that's Sway and, and uh, Aaron, so fair play to them as well. But out of the final corner, I have enough fuel to run down to the line. ERS then, just that first part, just getting the launch off of that curve. And there's not going to be enough track for him to overtake me. So it's going to be a very well-earned P7. So very Let's happy go. with how that race came out. Um, considering it's not, my, not one of my quicker ones, but... Only 22 seconds behind this time. I believe I was like 40 odd seconds behind last time. So I know there's a safety car this time and all, but yeah, pretty happy with how that all. But to be fair, the safety car, that was a long time ago. So, you know, I was very happy with how this race turns out. So P7 from P13, I, I very happy with that reward for uh, for the opening race, especially around this track where I'm not as quick. So very happy with that. Um, yeah, happy with, you know, the adaptability. You know, to be able to change on the fly, yeah. to be able to hold off the cars like that, just getting used to the track again and just knowing when and where to use the energy. So that was really cool. Yeah, that, that's all. Yeah, that's going to do it then for this opening the round of well, FTRL thing. around Zandvoort. I believe next is Melbourne, which is, ugh, that is awful. That is a horrible, horrible thing to have next. <laughs> so, yeah. If I could finish that race, oops, I hit my mic. Um, if, I, if I could finish that race, that'd be a big help. Uh, so, um, honestly, survival is the key there, and because it's not, not a fun track. So oh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Anyways, thanks very much for watching. Uh, good start to the season. Love the consistency of some of these laps as well, especially on those softs. Uh, sorry, on those mediums. That was fun. That worked out very well. Anyways, thanks for watching, and until next time.